Welcome to Large Mouth Lunkin. First order of business, the name change. I went from Los Banos Lunkin to Large Mouth Lunkin, a suggestion from my oldest son. Large Mouth Bass is what I love to catch. Um, I'll catch anything, of course, but Large Mouth Bass is what I've been after, what I've been studying to catch. Um, and if you're interested, that'll be the main focus of this channel. Um, another video, live, uncut. A uh, reason being is I've got a lot of footage that I will edit for you guys of me catching bass, um, catching crappie. Uh, but how do you get to that point in the first place? And that's what this channel is all about. And this is the first part to my series, bassing on a budget so let's get started with that um, as it turns out I found out that and correct me if I'm wrong but the fishing industry uh, five billion dollar industry um, they make a lot of money and the reason is it can accumulate on you fast so getting started let's keep a few things in mind bass b-a-s-s -S, budget and Super sales. Watch out for that. It is the holiday season. So take advantage of those sales if you're looking to get started. If you're looking for a special reel, if you already know what you want, um, keep those things in mind and get the best deal possible. Um, but if not, if you were new like I was uh, starting in June, so I've been in six months, uh, still loving it, still catching fish every day. So Let's get started, live and uncut, once again. My first setup, Black Max. Got this from Walmart. Um, at the time, it was $39.99. That price fluctuates, but I went with the bait caster and I'll have more on that and give you more ideas about that later on. Um, medium action rod. Um, on Amazon, you get a choice of uh, a heavy rod, a medium rod. Um, I went with the medium. From what I understood, that was the most versatile and allowed me to use uh various different lures and jigs. Um, it wasn't specialized to where I could get in a heavy cover and use huge um, jigs if you needed to get deep down or if you needed to punch. Um, all things that'll be coming on this channel. But to get a basic start, I went with the Black Max, uh, basically for the price point, to be honest. Um, I didn't know anything about bait casters. Um, it was $39.99. At the time, I've seen it get, get up to $59.99. Um, I apologize if you can hear my heater. Uh, Got to keep the house warm. I'm out in a garage in my, of course, fishing sanctuary, as you can see behind me. Now, what I did do, because bait casters are a lot more complicated than, than a spin caster, uh, than a spin casting uh, reel as well, is... I got some cheap line to go with that because I knew I'd be making some uh, bird's nests. Let me show you. OmniFlex. Uh, at Walmart, I got this for $174. Um, of course, uh, you can go to Walmart or you can get online, buy some other bulk brands. But for a dollar, 74, 500 yards for the 15. Lighter lines such as the six, 700 yards. It's unbeatable if you're going to be making uh, mistakes, which you will be making with your bait caster. 15 is a good general line. 15 or 12, um, if you don't have a lot of, uh, I guess, cover, um, things to get snagged on, you can go with the 12. Um, if you do have a lot of things like that, you're fishing near docks and you're fishing in brush and and uh other weeds and and plants plant life um 15 will probably be a little bit better 
It'll also help you pull your weeds back as you get snagged. Um, that's why I eventually went to braid. Uh, I got tired of losing my uh, lures on rocks and everything else, and man, it helped to pull them back. You know, I was saving a lot of money because I was losing a lot of money. Um, so that's that's one thing right off the bat. Um, I went with the bait caster. Many people go with uh, a spinning setup. Um, I did have a spinning setup uh, that I got uh, again from Walmart. Um, you can look online too uh, as Amazon, which I recommend because you get a wider variety. Uh, I got the uh, ugly stick set up and uh, broke it, no doubt, not fishing. Uh, <laughs> broke it in my truck door. So I broke the tip off, which uh, spun me off into getting other types of uh, setups for spinning. But right off the bat, um, I think that one was $29.99. Um, and again, like I was saying, bass is budget and super sales. So I was watching um, the different prices, the different setups, and I got something that I felt was fairly decent. With the Black Max, uh, there was very good reviews on that. And uh, one thing I did like was that it had a, a quick anti-reverse. Um, that I found very important, especially being new getting my hook sets, um, not having it slip, whereas there was one that costs less. Uh, Shakespeare Alpha was the setup there, and it had about a quarter inch to a half an inch um, kind of lock in it where the anti-reverse took time to set in. And it, to me, that felt cheap. I'll be honest, and I thought it wouldn't. I thought it would slip and not give me the hook sets that I need, especially being a newbie. You need you need the advantages, and uh, the Black Max setup did that for me. So, the two things right there: it, it is uh, having a rod and reel combo, having some line to go on your rod and reel combo. In addition to that, I actually wrote down quite a few things um, that you're gonna need. Uh, depending on the season, you know, you're going to need lures. What type of lures are you going to need? Top water. Um, depending on your water, deep diving. Um, are you going to need uh, spinner baits, buzz baits? So that's why it's important to keep in mind the price of these things. Um, once again, going on Amazon, you, you get an opportunity to compare various different prices. You get to see all the different colors and, and choose your options. And in addition to that, um, are you going to need jigs and uh, jig size, various different jig sizes for different water levels? Um, are you going to need different rig setups? And all these things I'll be going over in my, on my channel in the future. Uh, Carolina rigs, um, Texas rigs, all these requiring different weights, different styles of weights, um, different hooks, styles of hooks, hook sizes. So very quickly, these things can add up. In addition to having your soft body plastics to go at the end of these different rigs that you have. So again, these things add up very, very quick. Um, also, you'll need basic things like scissors to cut your line. Get yourself a scale. Keep track of your PBs. Be able to uh, measure them right at a moment's notice. Uh, a ruler. A ruler would help you out too. A typical tape measure. If you have one laying around the house, many people do. That's no problem either. They also have the professional straight styles that you can whip out. Those aren't as portable, especially if you're fishing from shore. You want to keep everything nice and compact. And that brings me to being uh, to my point of portability where you need a tackle box. And they have various different styles. And again, I'm just going raw for you. So, you know, they've got your basic hard style. Uh, what I figured out and enjoy better is more versatile. And you can get any name brand, so I'm just showing you. But this one here, it gets you off the ground for a good price. Um, I think this was about 15 or less. 
And the thing about this one, a lot of versatility. So what's going on with this one is also plier set. You'll need that for pulling uh, fish out. This was actually given to me after I caught my PB, uh, 7 pounds, 11 ounces. So very important. Also forceps because those hooks get dug in there really deep. These are very versatile. These help you so whether you're bass fishing or whether you're going to be sun fishing, striper fishing, you can have various different ones. They come in different styles. They can hold your jigs. They can hold different size lures. Uh, they hold a lot of terminal tackle too as well. They have side pockets again, scissors. Make sure you have some scissors. One thing that I did end up picking up too is a sharpener, hook sharpener. As I was using the Ned rig, I was getting it caught on a lot of rocks and dulling my hooks, bending my hooks. Um, may not be recommended, it, recommended, but I bent them back. Uh, not a lot and not to the point where I hope they weren't brittle, but I got the opportunity to sharpen them, catch a lot of fish on the same hook, as opposed to throwing it out, using another one, because those things start to add up too. You'll also want a net. You'll need a net, <laughs> definitely. There's times I needed a net. Uh, you're pulling up the fish and Next thing you know, the thing's huge, and it sees you, and it starts fighting um, beyond belief. And a net helps out so you don't snap a line. Uh, lately, I've been snapping off quite a bit, so I'm going to have a uh, tutorial as, in a sense of knot tying. Uh, one to show you, and one to help me out, too. So I have a couple friends in the area that tournament fish. Um, catch a lot of good catch a lot of fish and they show me what's going on because I've broken them off luckily they've broken off at my feet after I've got them to the shore but they break my jigs off all the time and yeah I don't want that and I don't want that for you either so let me check my list here oh additional things it's getting cold we're in the winter so gloves you may need gloves you may need boots I use boots because um, I have a lot of tennis shoes and many times to get your lure you may have to get in the water or man, I've had a couple of fish that break off right at the shore and I end up trying to chase them and catch them and next thing you know my feet are in the freezing cold water. So got myself some boots. You can see they're heavily used. Waders as well. Uh, many people like waders. I like the idea of waders. You can get a little bit deeper, a lot deeper, depending on the waders you get. Uh, again, you want to check the, the web. I'll leave links at the bottom um, as best as I can. It's going to be my first time trying to do that, so bear with me on that. Um, but a lot of those things help. Uh, and having those things up front help. And before you figure out, you need them. You know, if you're out there and and you already have it, man, it helps out so much more than saying, I wish I had this or I wish I had that. Um, back to the point of the bait caster, you're going to have to practice and practice a lot um, to get it right. I would go in my front yard um, and practice on a daily basis, um, throwing in between the bushes like it was cover. Uh, and imagining trying to catch bass. Uh, I put a bucket out there too as well to help me. Um, any comments that you have to help out the situation for people bassing on a budget? I do realize there there's a wide array of tackle. There's a wide array of uh, rod and reel setups. People have their various different reasons, and in part two, we'll get more into that. Um, I want to get you a different, a different perspective, too, as well. Um, I have a working perspective now with six months being a newbie, because um, I know people that have been bass fishing, wow, 20 years or, or more. 
so I'm still relatively new. I've got some good ideas. Uh, I like my Black Max. Uh, I like my Quantum Pulse uh, Baitcaster as well. I've got into various different uh, spinning reels and mid-range like budget setups, low budget setups. I won't even say mid-range. I'm not even at the mid-range point yet. They're all budget setups, um, but I've caught a lot of fish on them. And um, I've learned now, I've actually upgrade, upgraded my spinning rod because uh, I, I fought a fish and I really didn't like the action on my rod. And I had a $5 rod that I'll go over probably later that felt better than the rod that I had that was $20. So I upgraded that one, uh, caught a fish on it today, really liked the action on it. And so I will keep you tuned keep you in tune on that one. Again, this is Large Mouth Lunkin. Any questions, comments you have um, that can further people trying to catch more um, large mouth bass uh, will be appreciated. Thank you for watching.